in its own right. What's that outpost? You won't believe it, Mimir. This crest belongs to Fjotalun. <laughs> Fjotalun, you say? Now that's where Sigrun was from. <laughs> Seems it only rotates in the other direction. Another sleeping troll, courtesy of the dwarves. This outpost is what's left of Fjortelund. Sigrun spoke of growing up with these people before she joined the Valkyries. told me her kingdom housed a great treasury filled with the spoils of a family's conquests. Perhaps this outpost holds some of that treasure. Is that all she told you, Mimir? Did she say where? No, just that they kept it hidden. Well done. Those runes over there can shed some light. What? No. She never mentioned. Is that a key? Wonder what lock that key belongs to. No lock. It is broken. Not broken. It's just split in half. Perhaps we could find its partner. Yeah! 
Another crane. Come here. What did those runes say? Secret. She loved another. A king named Helgi. Seems they were madly in love. But her parents wouldn't let them marry. Oh, come on. You really didn't think you were her first love, did you? I suppose I did. picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. You were asking about my last visit to the Norns. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate, which only made me more determined to try. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Or oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threats of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abuse their power. When I challenge them, they threaten to undo my existence. So I killed them, and turned their power on Zeus. Hold on. What's this way? Let us find out. The Oarsmen. Ugh. A monument to conquerors. Made some lovely warships, though. Some debris over there. I'm guessing from Tyr's poor statue. Iron peace, not a golden war. Tyr used to talk about how heavy the cost of war was compared to its bounties. He felt like it was his responsibility to avoid it. Kind of still does, in fact. must have been part of Seagram's kingdom. A first outpost preceding further expansion. Uh. <laughs> 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 
to see Seekrin's homeland in such a terrible state. You know, Mimir, if you want to take a tour of her kingdom, you might not like to be in the So, she loved another before me. There are worse things to discover <laughs> about someone you love. Yes, there certainly are. Another staircase. Those runes can give us a bit of history about this place. Key pieces would fit. Can't wait to see what Rock belongs to. <laughs> King Helge massacred her family just because he couldn't have her. Only her brother, Prince Dogger, survived to kill the Mad King. Sigrun and her brother had issues over that. Oh, and all the time Sigrun and I spent with each other, she never mentioned anything about this. Maybe she liked the way you saw her.
Kratos, did you really kill your homeland's fate and use their powers to go back in time? I did. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Aye, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. We need to work our way up. This way. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. More of your friends. I didn't tell them to be here. the Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but right on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we step into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful.
Are we in our own minds yet? He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. Seems he was guarding that way outside. This place almost looks familiar, but different, like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. <laughs> Tell me more of your homeland. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. Fire of the Valley. Master of Magics. Queen of the Sons. Witch of the Woods. Frig of Asgard. Destroy of all she would hope to protect. <laughs> she always finds somebody to blame. Here we go. Counselor to kings. Merry wanderer of the woods. Robin of the good times. Let me guess. I'm a long-winded know-it-all and I cannot change. See? You forgot smartest man alive. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. <sighs> Yet another gift of Fimblewinter, I suppose. 
The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. There's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. Hey, how very dare you! Babbling! Oh, that looks official. Listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! I am so sick of your constant redness! What did you get to me? Brother, hold off! Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did! I tried to stop him any way I could! Don't lie to me! You served Odin from the day you met to the day! He put you in that tree! You saw your favor! You wanted him more! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never get your death! Until you turn on! I know, Seeker. It's true. All of it. But for the love of you, I became a better man. A counselor for peace. An ally to all those. Were you an ally to Freya in his suffering? To God? To Rome? Or to Tanya? No! You know, only took the side of the powerful. Then you use Brother, watch out. There's more of them. Even now. You see a fire that God in me. You can't help but hate him and call him brother. It's who you are. It's who you are. And it's who you are. It is not her. No. Of course. Brother, the team, it's pulling me in. Mamir. Brother, help me. He's a monster. Atreus. I am coming! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! Why wouldn't you see him the way he wants to be seen? I don't want him to go back! He's a liar! He's a murderer! That's all I had to do. And now, he's mine! He killed my friend! Atreus! I am here!
think it's over. Did we pass the test? Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. We're here. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer, the destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way, way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death. And he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. We are leaving. leaving. <sighs> he 
He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. I see something. <laughs> Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur, and so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns.
Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Hmm. How strange. I've never seen that building before. Aye, very strange indeed. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> Exactly like the one from Tyr's statue. It's another piece of Tyr's likeness sent flying across the lake. Ended up lodged right into this building, apparently. All this must have been <laughs> hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it.
Hmm. What's that? be useful. Well done. Now we just need to open the gate. Well done. Rude. It was not intentional. Oh, sure. My arrows can't go through walls, I'm afraid. Could you open the gate from there? <laughs> Together again. Mamir, does this look like an abandoned treasury to you? Aye, it does. Seagrin's family crest. Looks like a vault door to me. Now that we have both halves to that key, we should see if it matches that wall. It's Prince Dogger. I can't believe he's still here. Prince Dogger? That the corpse of Sigrun's brother? How'd he end up like that then? Freya, 
Why won't you answer me? Are you certain you want to read this? No, brother. You do it. Hmm. It seems Seagrin put a curse on her brother for killing the Mad King. No. Truly? She did not know the Mad King had murdered her family. Once she did, it was too late. She had cursed her brother. That is why she joined the Valkyries. To atone. You knew all about Sigmund's family, didn't you, Freya? It was not my story to tell. Funny. Learning all this only makes me love her more. It was me despite my flaws, my regrets. Knowing she has some of her own makes me feel closer to her. I am glad to hear it. Hmm? Tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah. The inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear. What's to be done? What is it do you want? It has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. <sighs> About what else? Nithog, you should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those lean worms. Good luck to you. Well, stay safe, everyone. They're back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. Appreciate it.